back to my channel. I'm bringing you guys my fall current favorites. I haven't done a favorites video in I don't know how long and I feel like I haven't been keeping you guys updated on like things that I'm liking lately. So this favorites video is going to be very random and all over the place but it kind of touches on beauty, life, home, health, all kinds of stuff. So stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Do not forget to like and subscribe, hit that bell button, give me a thumbs up, all that kind of stuff because I really, really appreciate it. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. The first couple things I want to show you guys are the candles that I've been loving lately. So this first candle is the Bergamot Waters. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but we're going to keep on rolling. This one is from White Barn and it smells amazing. I always end up going for candles that have like a mahogany or like teak wood or amber type of finish, vanilla, coconut. Those are like the scents that I really, really like. And this one is right in that family. <laughs> I don't know what it is about woody smells, but I just like like pine. I don't know what it is. I just really like those scents, especially in the fall. They always remind me of like trees. I guess, or like leaves falling in the fall. And then the other one is a candle from Target. This one is called Leather Mahogany. This is a really cute, obviously, little like holder, which is what originally attracted me to it, but it actually smells amazing and it really does smell like a boy. <laughs> so a lot of my candles are, I would say unisex because I do live with Mark. So I don't want, you know, our apartment to smell like candy or cookies. I don't like those scents. I like really deep and bold smells or really fresh and elegant and kind of fragrant smells. So yeah, love those. And I'm low key obsessed with candles. So comment down below your favorite candles, whether they be from like Yankee Candle, White Barn like that one, Bath and Body Works, you know, all those. Let me know down below. The next few products are going to be like makeup and skincare. So this first one is the Mauro Badescu Skin uh, Facial Spray. This one is the Rose Water and Aloe and Herbs one. I love this so much. So you guys have probably seen in my latest or I guess the last couple makeup videos that I did. I spray my face with this instead of using like an Urban Decay setting spray or like a like makeup specific setting spray. I don't know what it is. I've been using this and have loved the results. I get the same effect and impact as when I use like other setting sprays that are makeup specific. Um, this works well too. This does a really good job if I feel like my makeup is like drying too fast on my skin before before I set it. This happens a lot in the fall and winter as it gets colder out. And so I'll just spray my face with this as I'm going if I ever feel like, okay, this is like one step away from getting flaky or one step away from like starting to separate on my face. I'll spray this and I am like good to go. The next one is my favorite highlighter from Fenty Beauty. Okay, so everybody was like falling all over themselves about Trophy Wife whenever the collection first launched. But I have been reaching for a Hustler Baby like every day. That is what I'm wearing now on my face is Hustler Baby, which is a more pink and golden undertone, more peachy than Trophy Wife, which is hella yellow and very gold. And so this is like my every day that I've been reaching for. I used to use the Becca highlighters faithfully like those highlighters were the pressed ones were like the only ones I could always depend on and yeah up until now this is definitely one of the ones that I reach for all the time and you guys should definitely try this one if you are looking for a new highlighter to try out this next one is a makeup remover this is from Ciate London this is a makeup melter so it's basically like a um I don't know if you want to call it okay this is what I would compare it to it is comparable to coconut oil when it isn't melted yet so you know how it feels when it's like hard or kind of soft and you can like you work it in and it kind of goes into an oil that's exactly what this is it's just a makeup remover so essentially I guess you could use coconut oil but I know some people break out from coconut oil if it's too much on their face this does not break me out at all and it's a little bit lighter than coconut oil I'm not sure what's in it but it makes removing makeup super easy so I love this there's also a K Beauty brand that has a really similar product to this I'll try to think of the name and put it down below but it's also like a solid clean 
cleansing bar waxy product i don't know what it is but it really works well for removing makeup the next two are gonna be drinks. So the first one is this apple cider vinegar natural drink in Concord grape by Braggs. Y'all, this stuff is so good for you. Now, uh, any of us who have tried apple cider vinegar shots and like drinks know that apple cider vinegar is hella disgusting. Take a drink every time I say hella. It is not easy to drink, nor is it like, tasty or anything it is literally vinegar but it has so many health benefits it's ridiculous how good this stuff is for you on so many levels and so you really should try to integrate it into some place in your diet and so this is one way that i've been integrating it into my diet i drink these probably i try to drink some about once a day so this jar right here is basically two servings of the drink so usually what I'll do is I'll drink one serving one day and then another serving the next day so I get about two to three of these per week um, this is a really great way to drink it it does not have a big bite at the end that at the apple cider vinegar can be really really intense and so this drink really calms it down to where it is drinkable and actually tastes good my next favorite drink addition I guess I don't know <laughs> is my Keurig I literally just got a Keurig again about three weeks ago and I had a Keurig years ago but then I got rid of it and I never got another one and I got in this really really bad habit of having to have Starbucks every day so this is the donut shop vanilla cream puff no it doesn't taste like vanilla cream puffs sorry but it does have a nice slightly vanilla sweet taste on its own like without adding anything but what I like to do which is another one of my favorites that I want to share with you guys is I actually like to mix this with this silk pumpkin spice almond creamer because we don't do dairy over here this creamer is so good obviously it's pumpkin spice which it is pumpkin spice season they might as well rename fall pumpkin spice because there's literally pumpkin spice everything one thing i'm not going to do is i'm not getting a pumpkin spice candle so you guys please don't suggest pumpkin spice candles please because i'm not trying to have my whole house smell like pumpkin spice but i do enjoy this pumpkin spice <laughs> almond milk creamer <laughs> i'm like cracking myself up right now i think i had too much coffee today i had two cups usually i only do one cup but that's neither here nor there. Anyway, this is really great too. I got this at Target. I also got the Keurig and everything at Target. All right, you guys, now we're talking about hair. So lately I've been faithfully but unintentionally reaching for these products. And these are the Myel Organics products here. Are the Mongongo Oil, Mongongo Oil Exfoliating Shampoo and Conditioner. So this conditioner to me honestly feels like a deep conditioner because one of the packaging, two because it's hella thick, and three, it really does moisturize your hair. And even for a short little condition in the shower, five minute or so leave-in, it really does help moisturize my hair a ton. So I really, really, really enjoy this conditioner. This is probably like my top favorite of hair stuff this month because it's just it's just so good and it smells so good. Same with the shampoo. This shampoo smells so good. I don't know what it is, but it smells so good and it works really well. Usually I do not have lots of thoughts and feelings about shampoo because shampoo or sulfate-free shampoo to me is just sulfate-free shampoo, like you need it. Um, yes, they're gonna come in various scents or whatever, but I really do enjoy this. And usually I like to stick with the same brand for shampoo and conditioner because the products are made to work together. So by loving this, I had to add that in together. And then the next product from Myel Organics that I've been loving is this Edge Gel. This is actually an older product from them. They came out with this maybe two or three years ago now. I don't even know, but it has become a back in my favorites product because it works so well. I remember going through a whole jar of this, which I hardly ever go through edge controls because or edge gels or whatever because 
I use so many, but when I had this the first time, I literally used the entire jar and just never bought more because I always have so many hair products from different brands and stuff. But I got this gifted to me from My Other Organics again, and it really reminded me of why I loved it the first time. I'm definitely going to have to repurchase this once I'm out because I don't need to go another year and a half without using this because it really is everything for my edges and it doesn't clump up it actually keeps my edges laid down i have issues with my baby hairs literally lifting back up after a little while with this my baby hairs don't do that so there's only a very small amount of products that actually keep my hair laid down like this edge gel does and these last few favorites are definitely going to be on a more deeper self-care level so let's go ahead and get into it the first one is going to be this book that i literally read this entire thing last night and i've had this since i don't know months ago so i don't know when i bought this book but if you guys haven't heard of milk and honey by rupee Carr, you should know i think that's how you say her last name anyway this book is really, really great. You probably have seen her poems and short little quotes floating around like different inspo pages on Instagram and Twitter and stuff. But this is her book. It, I got this one, obviously, at Target. I spend a lot of time at Target. <laughs> I picked this up last night and I literally read it in like an hour. That's how quick and easy this read was. But it was so good and I was really able to see like how she really, this is art. I read a lot of different books and the way she put this book together and how she separated the sections between like the hurting, the healing, the love, all those things. I really loved how this book was put together because I could connect with every part of it. Every part of it, it pulled at me some sort of way. I think so many people can relate to something in this book. It's just a really nice read to kind of unplug. And what prompted me to even pick up this book last night was the fact that I felt like I had been staring at a screen for like days on end. Like I was like, I cannot look at another screen. Like I feel like my head is gonna pop off. Like I gotta just like get out of here and go in my room and just like cut, shut the door cut everything off and just read. So I literally read that whole book in like, I don't even know, two hours, an hour, I don't know. But it was so good and it really, really nourished my soul. So definitely read that book if you haven't. I know it's been out for a while, so if you've been waiting to pick it up or kind of sitting on it, definitely pick it up. And my last favorites is a app that I've been using lately called First Five. It is a Christian app and it's a Bible study devotional type of app and basically every day they have a new teaching or a new lesson and they have these plans so that you can based on different books of the Bible they have plans for you to kind of study the Bible and so that's something that I've been really focused on as a person lately on a very very deep level kind of reconnecting and just focusing on self-improvement and trying to become a better person and so I really felt like I needed to get like back to the basics as an adult with my Christianity. And so I've been utilizing this app to help me navigate through the Bible. And so each day it has a chapter for a reading and then it has an excerpt of one of the scriptures in that reading and then it dives into it and kind of shows you what that scripture is talking about. And then also at the end has a prayer and then a question where you can journal. And so that that's what I've been doing on a daily basis is going in, reading that chapter, and then marinating, praying, and meditating on the actual Bible study and devotional that the app has. And so once I finish reading everything, I take that question, it's called my moment, and it asks a question. And what I do is I actually write my responses in here and my prayers for that day in here. So I've been, I've been doing pretty good. I've got some, some pages there, but I, my goal is to fill up this whole journal. It is not something that is going to be quick or like a three month plan or whatever. Like I'm just giving myself that goal as like a personal goal because I will make professional goals all day long, social and you know, relationship goals all day long, but I haven't really been focusing on my own personal goals 
and actually holding myself accountable for those goals um, until this year, really, in my life. I've always had other things kind of distracting me or kind of moving me or having me on a schedule versus now I'm truly, truly living my life based on my own kind of merit and 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 will to do whatever I want to do and I know that it's important for me to establish like my own personal strong and obedient practices that not only nurture me as a person but also reaffirm why I believe what I believe and why I am who I am in general as a person. So yeah, I have been using that app really faithfully. It's really great. They have videos in some of the moments and they have, you know, just writing in some of the moments. It's really great. It literally takes five to 10 minutes a day, not even. If you aren't Christian or you're not really down for that, you should definitely look into journaling. Obviously, journaling is super easy it's really therapeutic i got this journal at target again but there's always super cute journals that like home goods and stuff like that that you can get outside of just target but i definitely recommend journaling that's something that i used to do then i stopped for years and then i just picked back up again and it has really 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 been working for me so if any of you guys out there are looking into trying to find a new kind of daily devotional or anything that app is really great all right you guys thank you so much for watching this is kind of lengthy but i hope you guys didn't get too bored with me i appreciate you guys watching every video that i put out you guys are so so amazing and awesome and it still kind of blows my mind that people People actually enjoy what I make and what I have to say and I don't take that lightly I take really really great pride in what I put out and the things that I create for you guys and I want you guys to know that I hope that I can be a place where you feel inspired or you feel motivated to be better in your own lives and that is my goal is just to help you become better and I'm becoming better. So it's like, let's do this together. Let's share um, and let's join forces and trying to be better people and let's slay a little bit on the way. All right, you guys, I love you. Thank you so much. And until next time, I will see you in the next one. Bye.